Hello, I'm Luke, the Hard Times Guy. Before I get started, let's have uh, full disclosure here. I'm a Bill O'Reilly fan. Uh, I liked him when he was on Fox News, uh, on the O'Reilly Factor. was uh, disappointed when that relationship ended and Fox News uh, sent him off to other places. But I followed him other places and I still... Uh, uh, record his uh, programs and podcasts that he makes with other sources and and uh, try to keep up with what he's got to say uh, because I think he's a good source for what's going on and his uh, analysis of the news is usually spot on and uh, fair and uh, as far as I can tell uh, honest the only uh, complaint I would have about him is uh, his total arrogance about his own uh, self-worth. All the things that I just said about him, he says them about himself in spades uh, just about every podcast. And, you know, that wears thin after a while. But my great-grandsons, however, two of them, Jackson and Dawson Johnson, they brought me a legitimate complaint. And so I'm going to share that with you. Without any uh, more, I think we'll just roll the tape. This is big turkey, and I carried it down to the basement where the big freezer is, and I plopped it down. Butterball, all right? And we always get the best turkey we can get. Um, so there was a study by Camp, the food company. Uh, what sides on Thanksgiving do Americans like best? And here they are, stuffing. All right, I, I like that sausage stuffing. That's number one. Got to have you're gonna have turkey. You got to have stuffing, mashed potatoes, of course, and then sweet potatoes. I have them both. That's a lot of potatoes. A little butter on them. Oh, oh, sweet potatoes are good for you. Mashed potatoes, you got to be careful. All right, green bean casserole. I just like the green beans. I don't need the casserole. I like the beans. Mac and cheese. No, we're not doing mac and cheese in the O'Reilly house on Thanksgiving. Not doing that. Okay? Here's what we're doing instead. Turnips. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that word on television. I, for some reason, I love these turnips with, with butter on them, a little salt and pepper on them, and it's actually healthy, not too much butter. So we got turnips coming on. And a lot of people don't like turnips. I know that. And I don't know how it got, you know, I'm not a big broccoli guy, and, and you know, I do get the veggies, and, I mean, I eat the asparagus and the beans and all that, because you have to, if you want to live long. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, mac and cheese, no. Um, Did you hear that? No mac and cheese. What? No mac and cheese at his house on Thanksgiving. What do you think of that? Uh, I think that we need to pray for him and help him get some good sense on food. He says no My mac and cheese. Well, and here's the problem. The here's the problem. Remember I told you how smart he is and yeah. how much Grandma pays attention to him? Yeah. Well, that's why Grandma went to Walmart. She went to get turnips for not having mac and cheese. You heard him, he said, no mac and cheese at the O'Reilly house. So Grandma said, there must be a good reason for that, because this guy is really smart. <laughs> no mac and cheese at the O'Reilly house. Now, remember what I told you about this guy, how smart he is? Yeah. Well, how smart do you think he is? Oh, he, he he's stupid. No, he's dumb with him. Uh, Joe Biden. Why we call him Joe Biden, uh, Sleepy Joe? We could. Why don't we call him Sleepy Riley? He's obviously never ate grandma's mac and cheese. I know you boys eat a lot of mac and cheese. You eat it here. Uh, your mom makes it for you sometimes. I don't know whether she makes homemade mac and cheese or not. I know she's uh, been known to make it out of one of those pre-mixed packages like. Craft mac and cheese dinner, stuff like that. You eat it there. You eat it at restaurants when it's on the menu. And so I consider you two uh, experts on mac and cheese. And I know you like mac and cheese. And uh, 
you make a good point about Grandma Betty's mac and cheese. It is, uh, bar none, the best mac and cheese on the planet. So, uh, and uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly obviously hadn't eaten Grandma Betty's mac and cheese, but uh, I think we can make uh, an argument for or against his ideas uh, even without him eating Grandma Betty's mac and cheese. Well, <laughs> do you boy do you boys even know what a turnip is? Yeah, yeah. And if you eat them raw, they're they're not bad raw, but if you cook them, slice them up and cook them, like he wants you to do instead of mac and cheese. Yeah. They're gray. They're about the color of this. They when you cook them, they smell like dog poop. And Grandma Betty has assured us Bill O'Reilly's not going to change things uh, here at the Hard Times Guys place. Our Thanksgiving's going to have Grandma Betty's mac and cheese, so uh, you can rest easy about that. We're uh, we're having mac and cheese, and uh, the best mac and cheese. I'm gonna give you a chance now, boys. To you know, we've had the We've had the interview. You've told me what you think about uh, Bill O'Reilly and his, his ideas about mac and cheese. Uh, do you do you want to make a, your point again? You got any last thoughts? Uh, Bill O'Reilly is fake news. Yeah, how could you ever believe him after he said no mac and cheese for Thanksgiving? Total loss of credibility. Well, Bill, <laughs> I think you missed it this time. Uh, it's hard to argue with their logic. I'm the hard times guy. Happy Thanksgiving. And Papa?